Dr. Neubauer. I'm a naturopathic doctor practicing at Restoration Healthcare in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I'd like to share with you my experience in using the laser, particularly in oncology patients. Um, I started using the laser when I was working at a large cancer hospital, and there our goal was primarily to relieve pain uh, with the intent that patients who were in less pain could be using less sedating opioid pain medication and with that having fewer of the side effects in terms of digestive change and um, having better quality of life and um, we're then able to use the laser to address um, diverse conditions uh, some of them in which I particularly good success um, one is conditions of, of the nervous system neuropathy neuralgia, um, I can include diabetic neuropathy, carpal tunnel syndrome, trigeminal neuralgia, nerve compressions, um, post-operative neuralgias, uh, got excellent results with. Um, also patients who have quote unquote failed back surgery where there's been um, a nerve compression and uh, there's been surgery to relieve that but the patient is still not doing better. Um, had several remarkable cases where um, a patient would forget the walk a walking cane in my treatment room and I'd have to later go out and, and find them and bring them their cane and they would kind of look at me rather befuddled not really sure as to why they needed a cane in the first place and um, several of those patients would on their future laser treatment visits come back and um, no longer be walking with a cane so that was really satisfying. Um, other areas where it's particularly the laser is particularly useful is inflammatory conditions. For example, in acute gout, um, I had patients who had de significant immediate decrease in pain, increase in ability to walk when they had a, a gouty attack in the foot or in the knee. Um, also, in osteoarthritis, while it doesn't repair the bone damage necessarily, it does um, decrease the inflammation, decrease pain, and, and improve uh, performance status and function significantly. Um, Using uh, Issa Herrera's work out of Manhattan, um, we'd also been using the laser for pelvic conditions, particularly in people who'd had uh, pelvic radiation therapy for a uterine or a vaginal cancer, um, or prostate cancer, um, and with that noting um, significant improvements in um, urinary and fecal incontinence, decrease in mucoid discharge, um, uh, improvement in, in, in the vagina in terms of breaking down scar tissue, uh, improved sexual function, um, so very useful in those conditions. Um, other areas where I've used the laser uh, quite a bit, um, I'm starting to use it in interstitial cystitis, in uh, addressing that bladder inflammation there, um, and in scar therapy with the, uh, with the neuralgia associated with scars um, and with breaking down the scar tissue itself. So. Um, as you can see, there's there's an extensive array of conditions that the laser is quite useful for, and um, I would encourage you to um, be bold in using the laser with your cancer patients. Um, while I do not use the laser uh, directly over active tumors, and that is an area that is, is experimental, there's some interesting research being done, but I really don't think we know enough yet. Um, I, I, I would encourage you to consider that um, your cancer patients are, are suffering from or experiencing a variety of other conditions that. If you can address those other um, painful or inflammatory conditions, you can significantly improve quality of life. Um, the laser is also particularly useful in post-operative recovery. Um, the hospital that I was working with um, is uh, starting to use the laser in the perioperative setting to decrease pain, um, prevent formation of lymphedema, um, decrease the use of, of narcotics immediately after surgery. So wonderful applications there with wound healing. You can literally watch wounds heal before your eyes in a matter of days. Um, I, I would encourage you to reach out to a, a, a trained a professional when using the laser with wound healing. There are some techniques to use uh, because um, if the laser is used improperly, the wound can actually heal um, too much superficially and too little on the deep level. So um, there's positioning and angling with the laser that needs to be done properly. If you have any questions about that, certainly you're welcome to contact me. But do um, certainly do use the laser in wound healing. It's very effective, um, so much so that a, a burn hospital in Tucson has made it one of its core um, tools and protocols as well. It's very useful in that application. Um, so in summary, um, laser is very useful in the oncology patient population um, in perioperative wound healing, in addressing the neuropathies and neurologists that affect so many patients, both from um, complications of the cancer treatments or from 
tumor itself, um, and also in addressing so many of the other conditions that affect quality of life in cancer patients like um, osteoarthritis as well. Um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me at restorationhealthcare.net.